Recalls from big automakers like GM have filled our newscasts in recent months. Tens of millions of American cars have been questioned for their safety. And while the recalls are scary for drivers, it appears companies like General Motors are finally taking action. Auto safety groups would argue that it's the companies that aren't taking action that consumers should be worried about. News Center 16's Megan Hickey brings us the story of a South Bend mother horribly burned in a fiery rear end collision while driving her 2000 Jeep Cherokee. So, Megan, why is the make and model of this car so crucial to the story? Maureen, that's because back in 2009, the Center for Auto Safety sent a petition to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration stating that 254 people had burned alive in nearly identical fiery crashes involving 1993 to 2004 Jeep Grand Cherokees. Now, since then, certain Jeep Liberties and Jeep Cherokees have been linked to that safety concern as well. Anna Pena's accident was in January of 2012. She didn't die, but as you'll see, she's terribly disfigured, and as a result, her life will never be the same. Yes, I have just normal life with, with my kids. I am of a three kids. 17-year-old Anna and 6-year-old twins Isabella and Mateo kept this South Bend mom busy. She was on her way to little Anna's dance competition in Munster when everything she'd worked for, her health, her freedom, her family, would be taken from her in an instant. And there was traffic, so she slowed down, and this car rear ends her. A Porter County sheriff who witnessed the crash said Anna's Jeep was slowing down in a lane behind several slower vehicles, but a pickup truck behind her didn't slow down in time. Upon impact, my mom's Jeep burst into flames. It was anywhere between 600 and 1,000 degrees in this car. It was on fire with my mother, my grandmother, and my little brother and sister, who were six at the time, trapped in this car. Upon impact, the Jeep's door jammed shut, leaving Anna and the children trapped inside the burning car, alert but unable to escape the fiery inferno that was their Jeep Cherokee. I hear the explosion, I hear the fire, I hear everything, I feel like I'm born. I born again. The kids suffered some bruises and burns, Isabella's worse than her brother's. But the most intense flames were concentrated in the driver's seat. Paramedics found Anna unresponsive, her body seared with second and third degree burns. She slipped into a coma and awoke to a new life. And I asked, honey, to the nurse, I asked to the nurse, honey, I am born. And she said, yes, you are, honey, but you are okay. But Anna was not okay. She suffered agonizing burns to 40% of her body. Doctors couldn't save her ears, part of her nose, and the tips of her fingers. Today, she's covered with skin grafts and scars. But more than two years after the accident, she still feels the sensation of burning. If they wouldn't have told me that it was my mother, I would have not known that it was my mom. Like, it was still my mom, and it was still her personality, and it was still her voice and everything. But my mom was never going to be the same. And you could tell that it was painful. Like, you could see on her body how painful it must be. Just looking at it, I can't even imagine feeling that. But Anna says the worst part was losing her identity. She says the crash took everything from her, for a time, even her motherhood. Unable to care for herself, Anna lost custody of her twins for a year and a half. But this is just the beginning of Anna's story. In addition to the millions of dollars she's already incurred in medical bills, she's going to continue incurring astronomical costs in medical care, and um, she will also be on assistance for the rest of her life. And we're talking millions of dollars, and who's going to pay for that? She requires a constant stream of dozens of costly medications, and because of her injuries, she'll never work again. But what's even more concerning than how she'll ever manage to pay those bills, according to the Center for Auto Safety, Anna's fiery Jeep crash was no anomaly, but the fact that she lived is.
The D.C.-based consumer advocacy group says that as of July 1st, there have been at least 370 fatal fire crashes of 1993 to 2004 Jeep Grand Cherokees, 1993 to 2001 Jeep Cherokees, and 2002 to 2007 Jeep Liberties that have resulted in 503 deaths, at least 167 of which are deaths due to fire. Anna didn't know about the risk of fiery rear-end collisions until it was too late. And I know I am so grateful to be here, to be alive, but this thing all my life, you know, a lot of life. It's not fair. She didn't deserve this. She didn't ask for this. She didn't do anything to deserve this. It was just like she was like punished. Like we were all punished. Now, stories like Anna's, and there are many, have resulted in a tumultuous recall investigation involving Chrysler, the Center for Auto Safety, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, and other safety advocates. Now, again, right now this recall does not involve any Jeep models built in the last seven or eight years. That's only 1993 to 2004 Jeep Grand Cherokees and 2002 to 2007 Liberties. Oh, just chilling watching this, and, and part of the reason, I was a young reporter when there was a similar crash involving a Ford Pinto where three young girls were killed. There was a national trial that was actually held right over in nearby Winnemac. So a different make and model, but this has been 25, 26 years, and this is still an issue, and I understand you're going to continue to look at that tomorrow. Right, so there's a connection to the story, and, and we're going to get into that tomorrow. The alleged defect in some of those older Jeep models, and there's more than a million still likely on the road. You'll also find out what Chrysler's done or hasn't done about it. Okay, very interesting.